Okay, I made a new uh, new circuit today. Uh, actually, the last couple of days I've been playing around with it, and uh, it's a flip flop JT light, <laughs> and uh, it's a, a circuit I got from uh, TalkingElectronics.com uh, free projects. I was wanted a, a circuit that was a flip flop circuit that went blink 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 to try and get away from the 555 timer in my CFL circuits, and so I've had a lot of fun playing with that. And I uh, did a bunch of different things, but I hooked it right up to the JT circuit, and uh, then I went from the JT circuit on the uh, voltage bump to the uh, Fuji camera CFL, and uh, ran that. And that runs off a of AA. And then this thing up here, I ran it off of a uh, solar panel today using these uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. That's about 10 volts there. And that uh, amp draw right now on that 10 volt pack is about 20 milliamps. And with that, I'm running the flip flop, which is flip flopping back and forth. And as that flip flops back and forth, that feeds energy to the jewel thief, which uh, is on right now. And the back end of the jewel thief has got uh, 18 volts coming out of the back end of it. Now, what I've got over here is a Fuji camera uh, circuit and a CFL. And I'll put the battery in it now here. Keep from getting shocked. Ouch. This thing has high voltage and it shocks you when you put it on. Okay, there's the uh, Fuji camera CFL running right now. And that runs off of uh, one AA battery. And it's a real simple project. You just get a Fuji camera and take out some of the parts and uh, it makes a nice CFL driver. But what I did here was I'm going to plug this in to the JT and now that's the voltage on the double A right there. We went down from 18 to that. And that will hold that quite nicely, believe it or not. And uh, I ran this uh, most of the day with that little solar panel and I'll probably run this all night and see how long it goes. But this was a lot of fun to take a flip-flop circuit and uh, use the flip-flop circuit that uh, blinks one side or the other and then pulses the JT, which when that coil collapses, sends out a spike of energy that comes over here and hits that battery. Now, the amp draw on that is quite a bit and that's why I was real curious uh, how it worked the light but it actually worked the light quite well and it, it held that quite nicely depending on how much I was driving it and you adjust the drive with this right here now watch these blinks as I adjust this this will change into a different blink cadence and I'll adjust it the other way real real slow and the more you make this blink the more energy you're pumping into the JT part of this. So it's a it's a balancing act between how much you want to pull out of the source battery and how much you want to drive the system. So I kind of cut it down the middle. But I had a lot of fun with this. This was a, a different way to do this uh, uh, light. And the CFL light was using a flip-flop to a JT which bounces the voltage up to the drive battery on the little uh, CFL light. So that's what I've been playing with. Another thing I've been playing with is, um, this is Dewey by the way, he's got a name now, this is Dewey. And uh, it comes from the uh, silent running movie, the Bruce Dern movie, where he had these three little ro robots, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. And uh, somebody recommended that I name them. So that's, that's Dewey right there. But he's got somebody coming up right now, and that's Huey. And Huey's the latest guy coming, and Huey doesn't have any batteries. Huey has a solar panel and a supercapacitor. And Huey, Huey's going to get in a box like this. I'm going to put him in a box just like this. And then uh, Huey won't have any batteries. Huey just uses the sun. And I've got a bigger supercapacitor. I'm ordering a, a bigger one for that to uh, let it run pretty much all night long with the amount of energy that it stores up during the day. So it'll be kind of like an eternal light and um, it won't need batteries until something breaks on him or we have days here in California where there's not enough light. Um, 
he'll just keep right on going. So anyway, that's Huey, and that's Dewey, and I don't know what Louie's going to look like, but those are the two. And then this flip-flop thing. I've been uh, doing a lot of fun with that. And then one more thing I want to show here real quick. Is this is why the project was going. That is my light over there in the bedroom, and I'm actually using it now. That's the halo light, and I'm actually using it in my house right now. So these projects are useful. If you get one that works real right, you can actually use it in everyday life. And he makes a nice uh, little light, that little halo light over there in the bedroom. So I'm going to show that to people. That these projects are worthwhile if you get them going right. And this is the latest one, was the flip-flop JT light. Had a lot of fun with that today.